This video will go over in the body weight squat. First thing you do, set your feet shoulder width apart. So when I say shoulder width apart, I want you to think that your heels are about shoulder width apart. From there, point your toes out slightly. Next step, you're going to squat down. How you squat down is moving at your hips first and then at your knees. It shouldn't be extreme. It shouldn't be hips way back and then moving your knees. It should be hips back slightly and then bringing your hips down. And in order to bring your hips down, you will then have to uh, bend your knees. So hips first and then knees, just slightly hips first. So the idea is to get to parallel. Right now my thighs are about parallel to the ground or you can think hip crease in line with the top of the knee. We'll talk about that from the side view. What I wanna talk about now is where my knees are tracking. So if you look at where my knees are, looks like they're being pushed out. They are being pushed out a little bit, but really the way your knees should move is they should move in line with your feet and or slightly outside of your feet. So if you look at where my feet are, my toes are pointed out a little bit, right? So my knees will be pointed out a little bit from where my toes are being pointed out. Symmetrically on both sides. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. My weight is on my midfoot toward my heel, going up and down. Keep your weight toward your midfoot and heel area. Do not let your weight go to your toes. So here's an example of improper knee tracking. You can see my knees going in. Don't let your knees buckle in. You want, you want to keep those knees on the outside. You don't want your knees moving around a bunch either. So that was an example of toes first, knees first. You want to move your hips first and you want to keep that back nice and flat. So there, my back is rounding some. You don't want that. You want to try to keep it back nice and flat. Okay, that was a good rep. Let's step it back a little bit. So on this rep, so we call this stripper butt where your butt shoots up first and then you bring your chest up. So make sure you're driving your chest up at all times. So there was a good rep. Let's bring it back and pause it there again. All right, right there, I'm about parallel. So look at where my hip crease is and the top of my knee. That's parallel. That's what we're trying to get to. My back is nice and flat. So sometimes when people hear flat back, they think that their back needs to be completely upright. That's kind of against the laws of physics. That's not what we're expecting. We want a flat back. That doesn't mean it's not allowed to be angled. And notice that there is some angle in my torso there. That's fine. That's fine as long as your angle is not super steep and forward like that. We don't want to see that. Then if you were doing that, it would cause the stripper butt again, where your butt would pop up first. We still want your chest upright. So, if you're into geometry, notice what's happening here. Right? So, when the body is properly squatting, it's kind of in a series of parallel lines here with the way that things line up. That's what we, that's what we want to see. That's good. These are all good reps. There you go. That's the body weight squat. 